Hey guys. Okay, uh, <clears throat> had me a uh, whammy of an experience. Has to do with ETs, maybe. So check this out. Um, it's two thirty right now. I went to bed at eleven after the hockey game. So I'm not all there, so just work with me. <laughs> Okay, so this is a spiritual experience. I went to bed. Now, um, I'm in the illusion, the lower illusion, because there's a mobster that's trying to take over this town and have it all to himself. But I am preventing it because I'm because he's a son of a bitch and. Uh, I call him Screwface, and his goons are Cabbage Heads, and that's the way I call him. I don't know his real name. My soul does, but I don't. This is all in the spirit world, okay? So, St. Illusion's up here. The lower illusion on the earth is down here, and I'm always going back and forth and back and forth between the two. So, I went to bed, and I was uh, making my trains. I was making some cabooses. Uh, Alaska Railroad, CP Rail, Canadian National, and another one. Anyway, I got to make the video for it, so no, I got to stay here. I was there, and I'm making them. I made them, and then I went to bed, and I'm laying there, and when I go to bed, I'm in the illusion. With Christ and my family in the spirit world. Okay? So, I'm in there and I'm watching the trains and all the kids are playing with the trains and everybody's having a good time. I made them. Everybody's talking about them. I'm having a good time. And I, they wanted me to go sleep with my girlfriend in St. Lucia. And I said, no, I'll just sleep here tonight, you know? Wherever I end up, I end up. That's what I like. And uh, I don't know what they said about it. I don't think they wanted, they wanted me to go to Christine's house in St. Lucian. St. Lucian is in the spirit world, okay? So, it's a town. It's, it sells 25 million people on it. And they live there. <laughs> These 25 million people. But there's people down here in the lower illusion on the ast on the earth plane. It's called the astral, astral world where you, you know. Anyway, I have a whole history down here. Okay, before I lost my skins and I could see all this shit, I, my soul, unknowing to me, was living down here. And that's how I that's how I got into trouble with the mobster and all the people down here. I'm just putting the stage for this dream because it's going to blow your nugget right into wherever it goes. <clears throat> it's heavy, man. It's heavy. So, I go to sleep in the train room, which is up in St. Lucian, but it's in the illusion. Now, St. Lucian is a town solid as this one. But you check out and you're in the illusion. You're floating around, and then you can go into dreams, and you're floating around. It's called the illusion. That's what Christ calls it, the illusion. We call it the astral world, the astral plane, okay? The spirit world, stuff like that. And in these, and in, and in the illusion, there's a million rooms, like St. Lucian, down here on the earth, there's rooms, giant ones and little ones, okay, that's the spirit world, in the spirit world, if you're not in a room, you're just in blackness, you're just floating in blackness, so remember that when you go to sleep, <laughs> all right, anyway, I fall asleep in the train in the in the train room up by St. Lucian because I don't I just have, I'm all, I just shot a guy down here in the lower. We're having a fight down here basically. It's a power struggle. I'm busting his ass and the uh, screw face, and he wants to take over the town. So he's got it out for me, and he's got all his goons hunting for me. I don't want to play. I'm too fucking tired. I just want to go to bed. So this this is. My life, okay, <laughs> just to let you know. And then up here, 
is more peaceful. All the kids are playing. Everybody's happy with the trains and that. And it's just it's my hobby, man. I, I make trains and I sell them there. And like HO scale train set, I love it. I'm addicted to it. It's a hobby. I can't help it. Anyway, and I'm setting it up for when I die, I can go there and have a good time. Pretty much, basically. That's what I'm doing it for. I can't have them here in this world. But I'm fucking sure as hell having them in the next world. Anyway, so I go to sleep in the train room. Next thing I know, I'm having a dream. But I'm down here in the lower astral, lower illusion. And that's where I'm dreaming in the lower illusion. But I've had this dream at least five times. But the thing is, it wasn't a dream. It wasn't a dream. The same drama. It was the same drama, more or less. But the thing was still there. In the drama, in the dream, I, this is the dream. But it's also what happens. is something that happened in this town I live in, Chatham, Ontario. Google it. I, I'll show you the spot where it happened. It's on the, it's right across from the hockey arena. This way. On um, LaCroix. Yeah, LaCroix. Anyway. In my life in the physical, I lived in this town. I still live in it right now. I'm here right now. And when I sleep, I can stay here and meet all the ghosts fucking around. Okay? And that's what happened in this dream. But it happened somewhere 50 years ago. Because I was born. I'm 50 fucking three now. I was born 50 years ago. So I had 50 years of experiences here in the lower astral. Got it? Okay. So, I'm dreaming. I'm walking down the road on the sidewalk over on LaCroix over by the hockey arena. And all of a sudden, this kid comes up. He goes, man. He goes, you don't believe this. Come here. Come here. He goes, I found a secret. I go, what do you mean you found a secret? He goes, I found a secret. And so I'm walking on the road, and so I went over there with him, and he takes me off the sidewalk, and off the sidewalk, there's a little ditch going down where a creek is, a creek. But the creek is dried up. It's just, and there's a, along the sidewalk, there's the railings, and the creek goes underneath the road of LaCroix. It's not actually there. Not anymore, anyway. Not in reality. But in the dream, it's there. <laughs> you get it? So, I go down. It's Indian Creek. It's called Indian Creek. We go down. And, uh... Or uh, it was a branch off of Indian Creek. Either one. We go down, and... Alongside the sidewalk, there's, a, there's a, a railing that you hang on to so you don't fall into the creek. And there's a fence, a, uh, a wire fence. You know the wire fence? <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, there's one of those. But on this wire fence, on the opposite side of the sidewalk, you go down about five feet. And this is where the kids take me. And there's a square tin on the fence. That's stuck on the fence. And on the other side of the fence is the earth that goes down into the creek from the road. So there's a tin, like a tin corrugated, whatever the hell it's called, tin square that's on the fence, the chain link fence. It's stuck there. And there's weeds and everything's growing up around. And he goes, right here, right here. And I'm like, dude. It's a fence. Come on. And all of a sudden, there's this, te- this guy. He's standing there next to me. And I'm going, and I know this guy. I don't know him, but I've seen him before. And we're tr- me and the kid are trying to tell this guy. Well, no, actually, hold on. But the guy didn't show up yet. The kid goes, 
There's a secret room. You can go. There's a secret passageway. I don't get it. I go, what happens? What happens? And he goes, well, I open up the I opened up this the tin, and I go between the fence and the tin, and it disappears. You can put your hand in in the, into the ground into the into the fence, and your hand disappears. And he goes, I went in there. And I go, you did? And he goes, yeah, but when I got in, I couldn't get out. And then I ran around. I was going crazy in there. And the next thing I know, I'm back home. And I don't understand it. And I'm going, well, neither do I. (laughs) He goes, nobody believes me. He goes, nobody believes me. And so I watched him. And I go, well, I go, show me, show me this thing. And he sticks his hand in. He goes, okay, I'm going in. He goes, I'm going in. You ready? And I go, yeah. And he goes, he goes, if I disappear, I'll be back in a few minutes, as fast as I can. And I go, you just wait here for me. And I go, okay. And all of a sudden, he, I watch him. He pulls this tin thing off the fence. And he goes in there between the tin thing and the fence and the grass. And then he walks in to the grass. And he disappears. And I'm like, holy shit. So I'm checking it out, and he disappears. And I'm like, hey, you coming? And I stick my head in. I stick my arm in, and my hand disappears. But I don't go all the way in. The kid went all the way in. I didn't. I just, and I, I stuck my hand, and I stuck my head in. And I looked around, and all I seen was not much. There was not much to see. And I thought, maybe you have to go in to see it all. I couldn't figure that out. And then... Uh, so I, I close the fence and, um, we're freaking out. I'm freaking out. All of a sudden the kid shows up and I go, where did you go? How did you get here? And he goes, he goes, well, I told you I'd be back. And I go, where did you go? And he goes, I went home. He goes, I walk in this place and then all of a sudden I, I go down some hallways and stuff and I'm back home. And he goes, I don't understand it. And I go, well, you know why? Each time, right? All of a sudden, he goes. He goes. I called the psychologist. The psychologist wants to see me. So, or he goes. He goes. They made me get a psychologist because of this. But you're the only one. I go. I believe you. I believe you. He goes. You do? And I go. Yeah. I just seen it. I go. Believe. I believe you. One hundred percent. And he goes. Well, the psychologist thinks I'm nuts. So I told him. I asked him to come, so you can talk to him too. And I'm like, okay. So I guess they had this kid going to see a psychologist because of this experience. And no one will come out here with the kid to view this or seek it out or whatever. Anyway, the psychologist was there. The kid's explaining to the psychologist, this is what I told you all these days. This is what I told you all the time, that this is the place. And, and he's here. And I go, I believe him. I believe him. That's what I told, I told the psychologist. And he was a guy who had black hair. Look like a doctor, has suit and coat on, suit and tie guy type of shit. And I go, dude, I go, he walked, he went in there and he disappeared. <laughs> and I go, that's all there is to it. That's all I know. And uh, then I'm trying to prove it to the psychologist. Like, I give it shit, right? But I don't know, in the dream, that's what I was doing. So I'm trying to prove to the psychologist, the kid, he don't want to go back in because it freaks him out too much. And I go, oh, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go through this see what happens. And he goes, okay, I'll go with you. But you got to come with me. And I'm like, okay, I'll come with you. And so we pull the, f- the fence back, the steel thing back, the tin thing. It's like a tin sign, but the wavy ones, you know, that go on a roof. We pull that back. It's just a, it's like a meter, two meters. We pull it back, and then we walk in, and he goes, okay, come on. And then the kid disappears into the side of the fucking road. We, okay, it's a creek, so it's slanted, right, on the side. There's a fence. You pull it back, and he disappears in there, into the fence, into the road. But he ain't in this reality anymore. Now, people think, the people that ghosts that live there, actually think this is reality. The mobster does. He even told me. <laughs> you can manipulate reality. He goes, you think you're cool just because you can manipulate reality? I go, hey, you asshole. <laughs> you're not living in reality. <laughs> I am living in reality. 
He goes, ah, I don't get him. But anyway, that's a different story. Um, having a fucking argument about reality. I go, you're dead, fool. Dead! You don't have a meat body. I got the meat body. And he goes, you do? They, they don't even know I'm dead. I mean, I'm alive. I mean, they don't even know I got a meat body. Here, I'm talking to you. Meat body. That's how bad it is, guys. This is how bad it is in my fucking head. You don't even. Sometimes I can't. I don't even know where I fucking wake up. Anyway, back to the story. So I go in following the kids. The little kids in there, and I go in, and we're in this little cement hallway. And then in the cement hallway, there's weeds going out of the cement, and it's like one of them uh, dark alleys under the road. When you go under the road, and there's a little cement passageway. It's like one of those, and there's weeds going out of the cracks. And everything. And he goes, come on, come on down here. So I go, and there's junk. There's junk laying in there, like paper cups and papers and McDonald's fucking wrappers. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see. I'm just, you know, junk. Garbage. And uh, we're walking, and it's getting really dark. He goes, come on, it's okay. And I'm like, where the fuck are we? And he, I, he's going, I don't know. Come on, man. Come on. So he's leading me on. And I go down this little cement hallway. Then there's a door on the left. And he goes, come on. So I look. He goes in the door and disappears again. So I go. I walk up the door. And I, st- and I look. I'm hanging on the cement. I'm looking in the doorway. And he goes, come on. And he's, and he's in a room. And he goes, it's cool here. He goes, he goes, I won't make it much farther before I go home. <laughs> maybe you'll have a different. Maybe you'll know something else. Something different. And I go, okay. And he goes, tell me what happens to you, dude. I want to know what happens to you. I'm like, okay. So I jump down, and I'm on. I'm in a huge room. It's like a factory. And there's these steel bowls, giant steel bowls. I mean, a story high. Got to be 12 feet high, 15 feet across, a bowl. And there's about four of them going down that way, and there's one right in front of me. And the one right in front of me, or there's two in front of me, and there's two more down here, going down this big factory. This one, big one, the bowl, is full of nacho Doritos. Chock full of Doritos. The one here in front of me is full of candy. Okay? And I'm like, what the fuck? He goes, look at all them fucking Doritos. And I go, he go, I go, he goes, yeah, I know. I always want to get to them, but I can't. <laughs> and I go, stay away from them fucking Doritos. Those ain't real Doritos, dude. They just look like it. And he goes, he goes, really? I go, yeah, really. And for some reason, I just know they're not real Doritos. They just look like Doritos, or they're they're. He go, I go, they're not real Doritos. Don't touch them. Don't touch any of this shit. <laughs> And uh, he goes, look at the candies. Look, they're candies wrapped with, in red. And this bowl is full of candies wrapped in red. Red wrappers. Millions, billion of them in this fucking huge bowl. And this bowl is a story high, like from your floor to your ceiling to the next, to the next floor. I mean, that's how big it is and how deep it is. And so anyway, we're on a catwalk. And I look over the catwalk, and it's just cement. It looks like cement. We're in a big cement warehouse, and there's these four bowls. And there's, on the other side, there's a cement wall. On the other side of the bowls, there's a cement wall and another catwalk. We're walking on this catwalk across the side that we just popped in from this hole. Which, I look back, and it ain't there. It's just cement wall. We came out of the fucking cement wall. So... I don't know what that was about. I still don't know what the hell's going on. I'm lost, man. So, let me have a light a cigarette here. I'm walking down this catwalk. I walk past the Doritos. The kid's in front of me. Somewhere along the line here, the kid disappears. I don't know. Oh, fuck, this is crazy. 
This is like down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Crazy, man. So, I'm walking down the catwalk, and we get almost to the end uh, to another wall, and the catwalk ends, and we just get close, and the kid disappears. And I'm like, where the fuck did the kid go? Well, he said he was going to disappear. But I keep walking, man. I keep walking. And, uh, make sure this headset's working. More. Don't want to mess with that too much. And I get almost to the end, and all of a sudden, boom! I'm waking up on a table, on a bed, and it's, I'm in a doctor's office. And I'm waking up. And this doctor comes up to me, and he's got short beard, short gray hair. He's got gray hair, sort of like mine, but shorter, way shorter. And his gray, his mustache is gray. He's got short gray hair, and he's in a white, a white lab coat, like Dr. Coat. And he's with a nurse, or not a nurse, he's with a girl doctor or something. I don't know. She's got a sort of like auburn, dark hair, dark auburn hair. Comes down to about her shoulders and it's really straight and long. And she's got on a lab coat. And I wake up in here. I don't know who these people are. What I am. I don't, and it's like, it's like, I don't know how I got here. I don't know what happened. But here I am. That's all I remember. So I know they fucked with me. And I looked at them. I go, yeah, they fucked with me. And so, I don't know. So I get up and I'm talking to them. I say, look, man, where am I? And they don't really say too much. The girl says something to me. She goes, don't worry. It's going to be okay. We're going to send you home. Everything's going to be fine. I'm like, good. That'd be nice. And they weren't threatening. They were all peaceful. Whatever. And I want to ask them about the fucking Doritos, but I never did. I don't know why, but I didn't. So I just basically wanted to get the hell out of there, back to normal, wherever that is. I don't even know where, I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go. Figure that out. So I, they're, they're talking, she's talking to me. Huh? I'm like, what is this? What's going on? Who, what, when, where, why? She's like, Oh, you don't need to know. Don't worry about it. You're safe. You're good. We're going to let you go. All this stuff. So they go, come on. There's a door over there in the office, the doctor's office. And I'm on this white table. It looks like a, a table. You know the, you know when you pass out and shit? But other people, I've never done it. But you get hurt in a car accident. They put you on that table. And the doctor's office has got the little wheels on the bottom. They jack it up and haul you down the hospital one of those we click up the sides one of those that's what i was on but it's over there and there's lights above it and everything it's like an operating table almost and that's what i got off of they're taking me to the door now <coughs> of this room of this room i'm in now the girl the girl she looks a little out of it she don't look like a normal girl her face is skinny. Now, the guy, he looks like a guy, like a doctor. But the girl, she's tall and skinny. And, but she's a girl. I mean, you can't deny it. She's a girl. So I just thought she was a girl. In fact, I ain't going to argue a point. A weird looking girl, but too skinny to be like normal like us. She didn't look like the doctor. The doctor looked normal. She looked like skinny like that skinny anyway real skinny so I'm I start moving to the door they're coming at, not coming at me they're just helping me get to the door all of a sudden these two guys come in they look like janitors or something, but they're not. <laughs> they're younger, they're like 20, 25. And they're like the security guards or the doctors, or, you know. They have white robes on like I do and doctor pants. 
but they got, they're both white guys, and they have crew cuts. So it's like they're janitor's security, something like that. So one guy grabs me under the arm here. One guy grabs me under the arm here, and they pick me up, and they go, come on, we're taking you out. We're taking you back, back home. I'm like, okay. I go, I, you know, I can walk by myself, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, and they go, don't worry about it. We just got to make sure you get out. And I'm like, okay. And so they take me out of the room and I'm in the hallway with a bunch of doors. When the doors are not open, but they got little windows, on, just like a hallway in the doc, in the hospital. And I'm walking and they're walking me down. And they take a left, they take me left and they go, Okay, walk to the end of this hallway, stand there. Uh, I look down the hallway, and it's just a, a white hallway, an off-white. I don't even know if it's white, but it was bright. It was brighter. It was like off-white, like a opaque white with a little bit of color in it. I don't know what color. Not yellow. I don't know. That. Maybe blue, a light blue. Very, very hint of blue. So anyway, I'm wa I'm walking down this hallway, and the two guys are with me there. And I'm walking to the end of the hallway. It ain't very far. It's like, yeah, 50 feet, something like that. And, th and then before I get to the end of the hallway, I turn to them. No, no. I get to the end of the hallway. I'm standing there. The two guys are standing there looking at me. And I go, hey, who the hell are you guys? And I just knew it, instinct, just instinct. I go, who the hell are you guys? Because I know you're not fucking doctors. I know you're faking it. This is all fake. I go, I go, this is all fake. I go, who the hell are you guys? Because I know you're not doctors. And all of a sudden they go, they looked up and they pointed. And I went, no fucking. And then the guy went, Kick! <laughs> and the door in the bottom of it opened up. And I fell, ah, and I went down this tube, straight down. I'm falling down this tube. I went, no, fuck, as soon as I said fucking, the, the door opened up. They looked up, pointed up, and I fell. And I'm falling, ah, it's like a garbage chute, you know, in the building. I fall down this garbage chute, and poof, I'm out. And I'm floating in the blackness. At this point, I wake up in my bed. I wake up in my bed because I had me a little heart attack falling. But I looked up. I was, I was awake now in my bed, but I'm still laying there dreaming, but I'm awake. And I looked up, and there's nothing. There's just blackness all around me. I couldn't figure it out. And I'm thinking, well, I, I, now this is where my ego kicks in. Cause I woke up, so I'm thinking, okay, something happened. Where's my gun? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Where's my gun? <laughs> right? And I didn't even ask for. I didn't even pull my gun. I could have, but I didn't. And what I mean is, the gun could be in the same illusion. And if I want the gun, you know, I have the gun. It just comes to me. I just pull it. <clears throat> to me, I can. You know, that's one of the things most people can't do down here. Or make stuff. I can make shit. But I don't even know. I'm just like, what was that tube? Who were them people? And I went through the whole fucking dream just sitting there in the blackness. And I'm like, something's not right. Something's not right, man. Um, all of a sudden I go, I can hear my soul talking to me. A little suggesting. And I'm like, looking around. I go, oh, this is the illusion. But I should be seeing something. But I don't hear nothing. I don't hear nothing. I don't see nothing. And I've been here before. Because I can go there. I can will myself into the illusion from St. Illusion or down here in the lower astral. I do it all the time. And I thought about going to Tia, the Sasquatch. He lives in the illusion, but he has a, a room. A forest to live in, in the illusion. I thought about going there, and I'm like, no. And I'm like, okay. Where's the goddamn thing? 
the thing that I just came out of should be here. So I'm thinking, okay, well, this thing was in the, if this, if that thing was a room in the illusion and it just pooped me out down the garbage chute and I'm floating in the illusion, that means that thing must be in the second illusion. Or I'm in the second illusion right now and I have to get back to the first illusion. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. And and my soul said, check. Just check. Take a peek. You don't have to go into the other illusion. And I'm like, all right. So what I did was I had a hockey stick with me. A CCM hockey stick. Black wood. Wood. Black writing. CCM hockey stick. Whatever. And it was made of wood. I don't know why I had it, but I had it in my hand. Don't even know where it came from. I didn't have it going in, but I got it now on a stick, hockey stick. Had no blade on it. The blade was cut off of just a stick, CCM hockey stick. And uh, and that's from the fucking 80s, man, late 70s, 80s. So I have the hockey stick in my hand. So I take the hockey stick, put it in my other hand, and I put my hand out like that. And I just will myself into the second illusion. So, or or I'm willing myself into the first illusion, or I'm going into the third illusion. There's 22 illusions according to Christ. I went to three so far. So I knew there are three. But once you get to the third illusion, it's hard to get back to fucking same illusion. So I don't even want to go in. I just want to know. I just want to know. So I put my hand in. And you just will yourself. You just will it. And you go. Once you do it with Christ, you can do it by yourself. Christ has to fucking show you. Because you don't get it until he shows you. And I, I was shown that years ago by Christ. How to get to these other illusions. And the illusion is all around you. 22 illusions around you right now. You just got to go to them. How do you get there? You need Christ to get there. Or you can get lost. Anyway. I stick my hand out. I go into the illusion. Now I know I'm awake in my bed, laying in my bed. I put my hand disappears. Once you see your fucking hand disappear, you know you're entering the other illusion. So I got now I got I'm in the I'm entering the second illusion or the third illusion or the first illusion. The first or the third illusion. If I'm in the second illusion, if I'm in the first illusion, which is saying illusion illusion, where all my homes are and my people. If I'm there. I'm going into the second. If I'm in the second illusion, I'm going into the third, or I'm going into the first illusion. But I stick my hand in, my hand disappears, and all of a sudden, I take a peek. I, I take the hockey stick, and I make it long so I can stick it in the illusion like that. And I reach in, and I take a peek. So as I come into this illusion, I look, and there's a great big giant room it's like a spaceship sitting in space now it's a room a huge like a huge room and i'm thinking well the big giant one is where they got the doritos the the, the big the big room we went into that had all these tubes sticking out like this and it had these round things like containers huge containers like grain silos, a whole bunch of grain silos. That's what it looked like. It wasn't, but and they had all these tubes sticking off into the blackness. And I know I came out one of them fucking tubes, and it should be right above my head in this illusion, but it's in this illusion. So I there I, if I was in that room, it pooped me out the garbage chute into this illusion. So. The garbage shoot should be this illusion that I'm in. I'm looking. I ain't going in there because I just came from there. But I looked up and I couldn't see where I came out of. But there was this huge ass room in this other illusion. I don't even know which one illusion I'm in yet. So I put my hand, I pull back my body, my head out of the illusion. I got my hockey stick as an indicator for my brain so I know where to go and now I got a hold 
of where this spaceship room is. And it don't, it's not a spaceship. There's nothing indicating it's a spaceship. It's just a big ass fucking room with grain silos. It's like it's like a warehouse with grain silos and a whole twenty two twenty tubes sticking out of it. And so I'm I don't know. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? And I go. Well, this is pretty important. So I gotta find out. So I'll I'll call for my wife or Christ. I'll call for Christ Jesus, Christ, or I'll call for my kids. But I don't hear any of them. And I always hear them. If I'm in my illusion, insane illusion, or an insane illusion illusion, or the lower astral illusion, wherever I am, I got my kids yelling at me. I don't hear nothing. So I just started screaming from my heart and my brain, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. I'm like, help! <laughs> Some major shit's going on here. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I could hear them all, all at once, and they all tuned in on me, and they all started coming, my kids, my wife, plenty of different Jesuses, and he grabs me, he goes, where the fuck were you, and I go, I'm here, <laughs> he goes, where were you, and I, I go, what are you talking about, he goes, the last thing we seen, you went to sleep in the, in the train room, making, I go, yeah, you're right, and he goes, what happened? He goes, we've been looking for you for hours. We can't find you. Couldn't find you anywhere. And I go, dude, I'll tell you where I was, but you ain't going to like it. <laughs> I go, I'm fucking confused. I go, where am I? Am I in the normal illusion? He goes, yeah, you're in the normal illusion. And I go, well, how come I can't hear you guys? And he goes, I don't know. I go, I hear you. I always hear you. Walking down the street all day long, I hear you guys. Now I don't hear you. And you, I go, I started hearing you as soon as, as soon as I called your name. You tuned in to me. And he goes, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I go, okay. I go, look at this. You want to know where I was? And I go, I'll tell you the whole fucking experience. But you got to look at this. And I go, come into me. Stick your head into my head. Take my vision. And so he came in, into my vision. So we're sharing my vision now. And he knows how to do this instantly. He's Jesus Christ. That's what they do. So he comes into me. And I go, watch. I go, see this hockey stick? He goes, yeah. I go, I don't know where it came from, but I'm using it. <laughs> I stick my see, I go, I, my hands in the second loop in, 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 in another illusion. He goes, yeah. And he goes, and I go, that's rare. I don't ever go here, but I came from here. He goes, what do you mean you came from here? You're not supposed to come from there. I go, just take a look at this shit, man. And I stuck my head in with him. We stuck our heads in, and I showed him. He goes, holy shit. He goes, yep, that ain't normal. Then we came, as we're looking, he's looking. I'm explaining the dream. What I just told you. I was down in down here in Chatham area on the illusion. I was with a kid who found a porthole or a hole in the side of a creek. I'm beside a fence, and I go, I had this dream before in my life, physical life. And he goes, yeah, and he goes, tell me every goddamn thing. All of a sudden, this girl comes in. She goes, where were you? What happened? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know who she is. I don't know. His wife, maybe. I don't know. She's asking me all these highly deep. She goes, what did you eat? She goes, did you eat anything before you went to sleep? And I'm going, who are you talking to? <laughs> me? The meat man or my soul? She goes, meat man. I go, well, I had, I had chicken strips and beans, you know. And I go, that's it. I watched the hockey game, went to sleep. She goes, you, 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 she said, you said it tasted different. And I go, yeah, that's because I never buy beans with the pork. I always buy beans and tomato sauce, and I don't like the pork because it's just a hunk of fat. I'm just sitting there. But this one was. And I go, well, it tasted different. She goes, okay, that's all I need to know. And I go, and I realized that. So she thought I was on drugs or something, or what, I accidentally drugged myself and the food has tainted. And I go, dude, I go, and I go, I'm still talking to Christ about this kid and the psychologist that he got brought, that he told. To anyway, Christ immediately tagging, ping, 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 all these people in this supposed dream I had. But I go, dude, I go, I, I've had this dream about five times. And he goes, it wasn't a fucking dream, Rich. He goes, you were dreaming, but 
it was also a real experience. He goes, I know the kid. And he goes, I know that the psychologist. He's a psychologist. And I go, he's a psychologist? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, the kid got the psychologist because his parents, the kid told the parents about the secret room and all that stuff. They sent him to the psychologist because they thought the kid was crazy. And he's trying to tell the story to the psychologist, but the psychologist didn't believe the kid. And I go, oh, yeah, whatever. I go, fuck. I go, I know I can take you. I go, I can take you into the lower illusion and show you the exact fucking porthole I went into with the kid. And I went into that goddamn thing there and it pooped me out for a garbage shoot here. And I didn't even know where I was. Then I thought about going to the second because I couldn't hear you guys. I couldn't hear you. So I figured I was in the second illusion. But I was in the first illusion. Here in St. Illusion, 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 illusion. The normal illusion. So Jesus, I told Jesus the whole thing. And I and then so he Christ other Christ are showing up. Out of the fucking blue. There's 20 Christ around me. Christ sent out APB and all the other Christ. They came in. Christ showed them the fucking hole that I made, showed them the structure. I go, Jesus, I'll show you how I got in there and how I ended up here. And I go, I didn't move. The thing pooped me out above, and here I am. And he goes, what did you see in there? And I go, I'll tell you, I'll show you, I'll walk you through, I'll give you every goddamn thing, truth revealed, I don't care. Just, can I go fuck back to St. Lucian? Can I go to the training room where my brain, he goes, he goes, yeah, 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 you can go, but hold, he goes, take me. And this is over a half hour period, I'm doing all this. I tell Christ the whole dream. Then he takes me back to the train room. I'm at the train room, but the train guys are gone. The kids are gone. And then all of a sudden, I go, look, I'll take you to the hole in the lower astral, exactly where it is. I know exactly where it is, consciously. I'm laying in bed conscious, explaining this to Christ. Christ is in me explaining it. So I go, me and Christ, I, I, I feel the dream. I know where to go. So I go, we fly down, we fly down to the earth plane in the astral, astral traveling or whatever. And I go, you see this goddamn vents in the, alongside the creek? And he goes, yeah. And I go, I go, and I go, this is where the psychologist was and this is where the kid was. And the kid said, the room's in here. Well, the kid went in there and disappeared. So I followed him to find out what the hell's going on. And no one believed the kid and the psychologist and all that. And Christ already knew who these people were. I'm like, how did you know? Why are you asking me if you know these people? And he goes, well, I know the people. I know everybody down here. And he goes, I'm fucking Christ. I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I don't fucking get it, but whatever. Before I got AT beard, mustache. So I then take him down. And I go, look, I ain't going through that again. I don't know. I was in there, and there's a big bowl of fucking Doritos. So me and Christ... We're in the lower astral. I pull back the fence. I look. We're in the little hallway. And we stick our heads in past the hallway. For some way, for some reason, I bypass the hallway. And I go, look at that bowl full of Doritos. Nacho Doritos. And I look at the candy. Look at these other bowls. And he goes, he goes, I see him. I see him. And I go, they're luring kids in with these fucking Doritos. And they're drugging them. They're drugging the kids with, and with these Doritos. And I go, they're doctors. I, I go, you walk down this hall and you'll disappear and you'll end up in a doctor's office on a fucking bed. And they're fucking aliens. <laughs> he goes, how do you know they're aliens? And I go, and, and he goes, hold on. And he goes, rah, 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 rah. He, said, he, he talks into his wrist. So I think Grace has got like an APB walkie-talkie on his wrist. He just talks into his wrist. And no machine on his wrist. All the other Christ come. Uh, we need a containment down here and blah, 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 blah. So he's calling for containment to contain this breach and the hole in the side. And I, and I breach and specialists are coming. Call on the specialist team, the team A, B, C, specialist A, fucking whatever. He's calling all these guys to this place where we're sticking our heads in the hole. And I go, I went in there. I went down this hallway. 
I ended up on a catwalk. I saw the Doritos and the candies and the other candies over there. I walked straight down this hall and I disappeared and I ended up in a doctor's office. The two guys, took, I saw the two doctors. They didn't tell me shit. I didn't know how I got there or anything. They put me in, they, they walked me down the hallway, the two guys, and I said, who are you guys, really? And they pointed up, and they looked, and I said, holy fuck, and I fell down the poop chute, and I ended up where you found me. And I go, I don't, that's all I know. And he, he's fucking crying. He's like, holy fuck, holy fuck. <laughs> he's freaking out. So we come back out, we're up on the street, and all of a sudden, there's like 20 cop cars. There's 20 you know, hundreds of Christ, all these people standing around like in Jesus clothing and beers and everything, just everything. And one guy's like, the specialist team, make it quick. Let's go. Let's go. The cops got their lights on. The cops don't even know what's going on. They're taking orders from Jesus. I mean, these, these Christ are not your local Christ. These Christ are from way up here above St. Lucian. They're coming down to see this breach. And I'm like, dude, as soon as I heard the special teams, special teams, Chris goes, call the special teams or something. I'm like, okay, I got to go. <laughs> I go, you don't know me, Chris. I go, you don't know me. I'm thinking men in black CIA bullshit from Jesus Christ. I go, fuck the specialist teams. That's all black ops shit for Chris. I go, I ain't getting involved in that. I go, look, I don't care if your specialist teams are good guys or bad guys or whatever. Like, don't fucking give them my name. And he goes, too late. And I'm like, I go, get me the hell out of here. Get me the hell out of here. And he goes, where do you want to go? And he goes, we need a 50, 50 yard. Uh, he tells the other crazy. <sighs> quarantine, 50 yards quarantine in the area around this spot. So Christ got a quarantine around it, which means it's a bubble. Christ puts a protection bubble. All the Jesuses, all the Jesus Christ put a protection bubble around this breach in the city of Chatham in the lower astral, where I am physically here. Now, they take me back to Christine, my girlfriend, and my wife, Angela, Julie, and Christine, and other people I don't even know. Jesus is here. Other Jesus are watching. And I'm like, I go, you know what? I'm going to sleep. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I go, I'm going back. I'm going on the computer, and I got to make a video of this before I forget it all. And that's what I'm doing. So I said, see you guys. And I woke up, got out of bed. As I'm sitting there making a video, I'm sitting in Christine's room with a bunch of people, and my soul was talking to them about the experience, which the Christ and the specialists and everything else are. But I'm just glad to be back at St. Lucian, like someplace I know. And that's the story. So I got to make a half hour video or whatever just to explain a dream. But it's cool because. You get to go into, when you meditate or whatever, you astral travel, you're in the lower astral, or you're in St. Lucian, you go up into the light, or you go down, wherever you are. That's just one illusion. Whoever these people were, they are projecting, we're from up there. From where? What does that mean? Right? But they were in the second illusion. Mean, and they're using candies and potato chips to get kids. Now, either they were drugging the candies and using the normal candies that kids eat down here, and they were doing experiments with the drugged candies on the kids, the souls. I don't know what they were. I woke up. Christ is figuring all that shit out now. He probably... I don't know yet, guys. I know what I told you. That's all I know yet. When I lay back down and sleep, get some more sleep, well, try to. He'll tell me, he'll fill me in or he'll feed me a line of bullshit or tell me nothing you don't need to know. And I go, well, whatever. They're fucking aliens. And I go, you know what? 
good aliens, bad aliens. They're drugging the fucking kids in the lower astral in this town and probably other places. But I discovered it within the 50 years of me fucking living here on the earth in this meat body, my soul being down here in this lower illusion, lower astral plane. In this town, because when I never went to this town, I did, I did before I was born, but it was only because I was going to be born in this town. When I was born in the meat world, my soul stays down here in the soul, lower astral. I can go up and I can go down. Jesus can take me wherever he wants, but basically I'm stuck in this area of Chatham. And there's thousands of people living here. Just like where you are. But. Because I'm living here. And I know. I got 14 fucking seeds. I don't even belong on the earth. I'm way up from the fucking light. 16. I come down here. And I know all the shit. All the illusion, illusion, illusion shit. Where other people don't even, they think they're still alive in the meat world. They're wearing masks, for fuck's sakes. There's people walking around the lower illusion, wearing masks, thinking they're going to catch a disease. And it's just accepted. They think they're still alive. This is normal reality. Go to the store. No, man. I, I got an argument with a guy. I go, why are you wearing a mask? You're dead. You are like, fucking dead. There's a fucking disease going on. It's cold. Fucking virus, Chinese virus, um, all this shit. And I'm like, dude, I'm in the fucking meat world. You're fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. You're a fucking asshole. We got this big fight about a goddamn disease. He's wearing a mask thinking he's going to catch a disease. I go, how can you catch a fucking disease that's in the fucking meat world in physical reality? He goes, oh, yeah, I'm in physical reality. I'm like, holy fuck. I'm out of here. Fuck you, you snowflake fucking idiot. I mean, you're fucking dead. <laughs> they don't think they're dead. They don't fucking think they're dead, man. It is crazy shit. But anyway, I'm like, what the fuck ever. Good luck with all that shit. Fuck me. Everybody. They're wearing masks. The dead are wearing masks so they don't catch a disease. I go, how can you catch a fucking physical disease when you're dead? I go, you don't need a mask. The fucking physical disease ain't going to fuck with you. You can't catch a cold unless you want to catch a cold. You're dead, you fucking dummy. How many fights I've almost got into over that goddamn mask? Fuck. It ain't even fucking real in this world. It's a fucking psyop. He created to wear a mask. Fuck. Oh, fuck. You didn't believe this shit. Fuck, I don't believe it. Jesus Christ. Keep your skins. Don't lose your fucking skins. You open up in the spirit world, watch my video, because that's what you get. And get fucking grace, because you'll get lost in the drama. You don't want to get lost in the drama. You get caught up in the fucking psycho drama. Fuck. Get with Christ. At least he can teach you. What he's doing, I already know this shit. I'm going to teach myself. But Christ teaches my brain how to operate in this world. He shows me, when you're dreaming, you're in a dream illusion. When you're awake and you're sitting here with us, you're in the illusion. You're perceiving the spirit world illusion. Now you can go to the same illusion. You can go to anywhere you want. And you can will yourself there. So he teaches you all this. Normal, normal stuff. But anyway, guys, I think that's a long enough video. So I'll tell you what happens if there were aliens, if I get any information from Christ, what the breach was. I still got to deal with, I got to make another video about screw face and the cabbage heads. Sounds like a rock, rock and roll band. Screw face and the cabbage heads. Rock and roll. Screw face and the cabbage heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told him the other day. I go, hey, Screwface. That's the cabin. I go, 
He screw face in the cabbage heads. He didn't like that. I go, sound like you're a fucking rock band. His favorite song is Time to Play the Game from Motorhead. The game? Yeah. I know what that's all about. So anyway, that's the guy I got to get. I shot his one of the cabbage heads yesterday. He was trying to shoot me, but I took his gun. It's like, I'm a, I'll am go down and lay in bed. I'm in the illusion. The cabbage... The screw face called me, so I come and I'm looking down at him. I'm looking down at him. I'm in the lower illusion. He's screaming at me. I'm getting an argument. All of a sudden, I look over and there's a guy laying down. So I, I sort of, I'm talking to him as I move over to the guy, and he's got a fucking old World War II rifle with a little thing that comes out with the knobby on the end. That, boom, boom. I took it. I just willed it right out of his hand. He got up and ran. I took my gun, put the red dot on him, and pow! Blasted him one. He ended up in the hospital. Jesus was upset. I got, I got somebody. I got to make another video about an update about what's going on. Anyway, I didn't hurt him. He just went to the hospital. But I gave Grace proof that he's a mobster. He's trying to take me out or shut me up. Anyway, that's what normally I'm going through day to day to day to day. I'm trying to bust his ass. And Christ is setting up stings and watching the fallout to get this guy. There's a lot more going on. Uh, a lot more going on with the police and the mayors. And Christ is watching all of them, you know, clear up loose ends and shit. So I set all this emotion to bust this fucking guy because basically he was beating me. <sighs> he recruited me into his fucking gang by blackmail where I had to make fucking cigarettes, alcohol, and guns and bullets for him. And that was my job for 50 fucking years. And while he was pimping out my friends and blackmailing them too, and I knew all this shit. I just never told anybody because I didn't know who to trust. But now that I broke my skins, all that, when I went to Christ 12 years ago, and I could see in the spirit world, and I knew what the fuck was going on, all that shit that I've been living for 50 fucking years came with it, and I opened up, and I'm still dealing with it, but Christ is catching on to what's going on, so in my life, man. I still got to do that book thing. I got to tell you about that. I'll make another video, so I got to upload this one. All right. So that, and the reason why I had this experience, I'm having this experience to reveal it. I knew this. I went there five times before I lost my skins 12 years ago. I was doing this. I knew all this shit around the town. I knew there's stuff around this town secrets in this town well that was one of the secrets but i didn't know what the fuck to do with it so i just put it in the back of my head and started kept on living but whoever these aliens were in the second illusion do you understand even if they were aliens fuck them. i don't know who they were or what they were i don't know they could have been people from whatever for fuck's sakes, I'm hanging out with a Sasquatch. He saved my ass a bunch of times. It's crazy. It's crazy. Fucking astral world, man. Well, that's another little piece of the puzzle. Anyway, guys, gotta go. I don't make this too long. Okay, later.